Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to talk about the basic texture manipulation in OpenLAN. So basically you can change the normal intensity, roughness intensity and UV rotation. Basically angle, you can change the angle of the texture. So let me show you how it works. First, uh, let me change the normal uh, intensity of this texture. I can put a value like let's say 3 and you can see more, you can get more details from your normals. And I can play my game, you can see. Unfortunately, I don't know whether you can see this from the UTIP compression algorithm, but uh, there's a clear change when you change the normal intensity. You can you can use that sometimes. Let me put back to one. And also you can change the roughness as well. Uh, you can put a higher value like two and it will completely get rid of the roughness. As a result of that, it will uh, uh, remove the uh, specular reflections as well because uh, roughness and specular ref reflections works ha hand in hand. Uh, let me put back to one. I can put a value like uh, zero. So it will give you uh, like a full uh, glossiness into your textures but here it won't give you the full uh, glossiness the reason is we already have a normal map so it will uh, change the uh, the light rays uh, but you can put a zero for the normals as in the city as well it will give you a perfect uh, glossy uh, texture also you can put a in between value like it'll be uh, 0 0.3 uh, 2 like you can get a yeah get some normal information as well as uh, roughness so you can do that Right, now you have this and also we have the uh, UV rotation angle as well. So basically you can rotate the texture like this. And yeah, it's, yeah, you can do that as well. So basically uh, this is it. Uh, you can change these settings uh, quite easily. And uh, I just here use the Open Lens Mega Scan tool, but uh, let me start from scratch. I, I can show you how uh, to use everything. Right, first thing is you need to use OpenLAN uh, as your landscape material. Uh, so you can now open our example map uh, if you want to just try out. Let's go to content OpenLAN maps, uh, example OpenLAN map. Okay, now I have that. So here we painted some, hand painted some sand uh, texture over here and sand layer over here. Uh, let me change this texture uh, with our Scan tool and change those roughness and so on. First you need to select your landscape and go to this uh, details panel, search for use dynamic. And we have a checkbox called use dynamic material instance. I'm going to check that. So this will allow us to communicate into uh, landscape material uh, using uh, blueprints. Right. And let me open our widget. Go to open land widgets. And we have it called open land mega scan texture selector widget. I'm going to select that and right click. And then uh, click uh, run editor utility widget. Then you have widget like this. Now I can select my material layer which is sand and the mega scan texture i here only have two mega scan uh, textures i'm going to select the second one so basically you can uh, drag and drop uh, these textures from the uh, quixel bridge and then i can simply hit select now you can see that over your sand area right all right now we can change our normal roughness and so on here i'm going to select the normal intensity to three you can get more details from your normals. Maybe this is too much. I can put two. If that's the case. So basically you can play with this value and get the result that you're looking for. Uh, let me put it back to one. Also, uh, I'm going to put the uh, roughness intensity to zero. So it will give uh, some glossiness into my uh, texture. Here, since we have uh, existing normal map, you won't get the perfect glossiness. Uh, but you can play with that. You can uh, reduce the normal intensity. You can put a zero if you want and you can get the yeah, perfect glossiness. But you can go some in between value, maybe 0 0.4. Yeah, you can you can have that. Also, you can rotate your textures. Like basically it will do a UV rotation uh, and it will uh, fix the all the normals after that. And uh, yeah, it will work just fine. Okay, uh, now uh, we know how to do this with this uh, mega scan tool and let me show you how to do the same thing uh, via the our uh, material instance. Right, I'm gonna change the uh, the settings on the uh, this uh, ground texture. I'm gonna go to my uh, landscape and open my material instance. Uh, okay, over here. Right, let me rearrange this into a place. Right, here I'm gonna search for ground in the, the material instance. And we have the ground texture and you can see just below the normal texture you have the ground normal intensity i can put a value like three so i get more details from my uh, texture it's quite hard to see with this texture especially with the uh, youtube compression but it will give some more uh, details into my uh, texture which is nice sometimes and also we can play with the uh, roughness as well uh, here uh, we have the ground roughness texture and just below two uh, lines, we have the ground roughness intensity. I can play with this value, put zero. 
get the uh, yeah yeah glossiness right uh, again uh, you can uh, play with the uh, normal intensity to get the uh, the pure glossiness if that's what you're going for. I'm not sure whether this will be useful but we can have that now we can change the UV rotation as well we have the ground UV rotation couple of lines below you can check this and uh, enable that and you can simply change this uh, setting so basically you can put a degree value let's say i can rotate this texture by 90 degrees you can do that but since this is a quite random texture we cannot see the change but if this is a kind of brick texture you could definitely see the change this is a feature that a lot of people have been asking for me from the very beginning unfortunately it took about two years to add this functionality which is kind of unfortunate uh anyway uh, now we have that all right um I hope you this will be useful. Uh, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.